السلام عليكم ومحي ما سون يدو ما سون يدو وأرو يهودات أضح سون ونا أديقة دانها يهودا وحا أي عبدا إبليس هي شيدا ميسا أو وقوه الرأيو لوسفر وحاي وقوغ الحالان إمان شاهم مسيحو دجال سي أي وقوغ عنقليان حكم كان دونك حاسي مدي سنة أي وقوغ دقان مقالة دا قدس غورما أي على أساس أي ماسوني يدا ما دام أو أريموه دا أوريما أي سيريهين سر رسمي أه لو ما حديدي كرو حيلي قادي دي بدل الله أساس أي بلسا أي يقوغ وحا أي تباحان Understand that Masonry has been around a long, long time. It may not have always been called Freemasonry, but Masons itself brag about the fact that their first Mason was Tubal Cain. Now, Tubal Cain, if you know your Bible, was the seventh man from Adam by way of Cain, and he was the guy that invented metalworking. And he is supposedly the first Mason. Now, that's pretty far back to start a conspiracy. <laughs> And then of course you have the flood. After the flood, the Masons say that the first Mason was Nimrod. Now of course we all know who Nimrod was. He's the guy that helped build the Tower of Babel. That's pretty good Masonry. He was the person who basically had the idea for a one world government. He wanted to start a United Nations. He had all these great ideas, you know, one world government, all this kind of stuff, new world order. And God had other ideas, and God came down and he cast confusion and, and changed the languages of the people. So they went and scattered abroad on the earth. That basically tells us what God thinks about the United Nations. Hal ka wahay no gaada tay fikrada hani murud ina yqarkud ma sunni ta uhi galen sida qaramad madmi dobi i hukumad mi desen u adun ka ma musha ta soa marekun ka. أساس كوديس الأحاد وحا أوها مركي وصوب حي نبي عيسى عليه السلام أيي أركان يهودي دين تيسي وبا حيسى كدي بغر كي قدس يلا تلياشي سي يهود أها أيا مرسى الأحاد ما سون يدى لذي بدأ وها أساي الملك يهود ومستشاره حرام أبيود حين رأوا انتشار المسيحية قرروا يعني تكوين جمعية سحرية لمواجهة هذا الانتشار بين اليهود وللقضاء على المسيحية لقد أسس هيرودس أكريبا ملك من ملوك الرومان بمساعدة مستشاريه اليهوديين حيران أبيود نائب الرئيس مواب لامي كاتم سري أول لقد قامت الماسونية منذ أيامها الأولى على المكر والتمويه والإرهاب حيث اختاروا رموزا وأسماء وأشارات للإيهام والتخويف وسموا محفلهم هيكل أورشليم للإيهام بأنه هيكل سليمان عليه السلام قال الحاخام لاكويس الماسونية يهودية في تاريخها ودرجاتها وتعاليمها وكلمات السر فيها وفي إيضاحاتها يهودية من البداية إلى النهاية 
أما تاريخ ظهورها فقد اختلف فيه لتكتمها الشديد والراجح أنها ظهرت عام 43 ميلادية سميت القوة الخفية وهدفها التنكير بالنصارى واغتيالهم وتشريدهم ومنع دينهم من الانتشار كانت تسمى في عهد التأسيس القوة الخفية ومنذ بضعة قرون تسمت بالماسونية لتتخذ من نقابة البنائين الأحرار لافتة تعمل من خلالها ثم التصق بهم الاسم دون حقيقة تلك هي المرحلة الأولى أساس كودي أفراد ولكن كودي أفراد وحاوها حلقي أي خيرلو كسو قادة المسلمين ورهدلو يقاني كروسيدز أما الحملات الصليبية The origins of this global plan were not created in the offices of the White House. In reality, their roots lay in another war. This time, the year is 1095, and the place, Clermont, France. <laughs> 11th century Europe was ruled by the church, which held a firm grip on the hearts and minds of the people. This power enabled Pope Urban II to wage war on the Muslim Caliphate and crusade in what he called a War of the Cross to recapture the land of Jerusalem. It had been under Muslim rule since the year 637, but in 1099 this rule was brought to a bloody and sudden end. In the name of the cross, women were raped and murdered, children were put to the sword, and it is said that blood ran in the streets knee-high to the horses. Out of this land of bloodshed and terror, a group of men arose. Men that would stop at nothing to get what they wanted, no matter what the cost. Twenty years after Jerusalem was taken, the Dome of the Rock was seized by a group of warrior monks calling themselves the Knights of the Temple of Solomon, or more simply, the Knights Templars. In Jerusalem, the Templars began to deviate further and further away from the practices of Christianity. They learnt the secret arts of the Kabbalah, an ancient form of Jewish magic, along with its dark rites and rituals. The Jews had learnt the arts from the pagans of ancient Egypt during the times of enslavement to the Pharaoh and developed them into Babylon at the time of Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> كتبوا على جشكي وأنا لا لا يبدن كودي أنت هذينا وحاي أفر لتي سكوتلاند هالكاس وأي كم المن بقرت هيدي دي. In 1307, King Philippe of France arrested them for charges of denial of Christ, homosexuality, and idol worship as well as magic. In 1314, Pope Clement V declared all Templars as heretics to Christianity, ordering all their properties to be seized. Their leader. Jacques de Morlaix was captured and burnt to the stake. The Templars were cornered, and just when it seemed they were finished forever, a glimmer of hope arose from a seemingly certain end. They were to find a safe haven as well as an ally. But not in France. In fact, in a country in a desperate struggle for independence against the English. The country of Scotland. For some, Scotland's hope of independence had died with the death of William Wallace. However, to the King of Scotland, Robert the Bruce, the arrival of the Templars gave him a new secret weapon. Their experience, gained over 200 years of fighting the mighty armies of Islam, had made them expert in combat and warfare, and more than a match for any army brought before them. In 1314, the Templars, allied with Robert the Bruce and his army, took to the fields of Bannockburn in the long-awaited showdown with the English. Robert the Bruce's foresight paid off. The 25,000 strong English army suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of only six and a half thousand men. The dream of an independent Scotland had finally been achieved. The Templars had brought themselves back from the brink of destruction and never again would they allow themselves to be destroyed. This time they would control the country by controlling its kings. And in order to preserve their secret order, the Templars would have to die or more precisely, the name would have to die. The Templars, who had escaped Europe, were finally laid to rest in Roslyn Chapel, Scotland, 
which stands to this day as sign of their presence in Britain. Halkaas ayay ka bilaabeen in ay wadooda ku baahiyeen adduunka waxa aanay ugu horeeyeen Ingiriiska For over a hundred years the Templars concealed their activities fading into the background until they were little known and little remembered All the time they were planning regrouping and infiltrating positions of power in all corners of the kingdom Their descendants became the true power of Scotland In 1603 The death of Queen Elizabeth I left England without an heir to the throne. By virtue of descent, King James V of Scotland became King of England. In doing so, Scotland and England joined to form a new kingdom, and the power that the Templars held over Scotland spread to give them a firm grip on the whole of Great Britain. In 1717, the Templars made their reappearance in Europe. They had grown in both number and strength, and were now ready to coin a new identity, free from their reputation of the past. And the name they chose for themselves was a name that will be known by many, but understood by a few. This new name, the Freemasons. Kadi buha ayu gadin qara da marekin ka. Taas o ayu arken ina itahi forsad ay ku unki karan dolad ugu ba o ay dano hoda kufu shadar. دولدي مركي أي شعب وقبا هاتينا وحاي ورهرين تذكير ربشولي داها إرهر يروب إيو أدومو أفريكا لغو قرطي سيا يوغو سهلاناتو إنا دذكا هادو مسكح دا كقبصة دان هنكو ديا ها قبصة شدة أدون كنا ويسيل لبلعبين The Freemasons were not content with power in Britain alone Their ambitions were far greater In the years to come, the world would witness Europe and America being plagued by wars and revolutions, each more devastating than the other. However, these would not be as commonly believed the spontaneous effects of a downtrodden people, but in fact schemes created by the exclusive few driven by hunger for absolute power. All this would take place from the very country from which they had fled centuries earlier and would come to the base for their global domination. waxa ay ka adoon ka bilaabeen wadankoodii ay ka soo jeedeen ee Faransiiska taasoo dhaxalsiisay in ay ka dhisan dawladdii Napoleon Bonaparte waxa ay hadana ka fuliyeen ka adoon kii loo yaqaanay ka adoorka shaaha dalka Mareykanka taasoo dhaxalsiisay in ay adduunka ka dhalato dawladdii ugu horreysay ee masuuliyad dawladda hay ee madaxbanaan سيدوك الوحا أي شين مدحوينه يقوه الري إما سوني أه كاسو أو أه جورج واشنطن كدي مركي أي دورة دي شين مدحوين حر أهنا أي هلان وحا أي دي شين قرشيه أي آدمها أردن كما مول الحايين وحنا فكر كاسي كسوم محدي آدم وايز هاوت فتبدأ عام 1770 عن طريق آدم وايز هاوت المسيحي الألماني الذي ألحد واستقطبته الماسونية ووضع الخطة الحديثة للماسونية بهدف السيطرة على العالم وانتهى المشروع عام 1776 ووضع أول محفل في هذه الفترة المحفل النوراني نسبة إلى الشيطان الذي يقدسونه استطاعوا خداع ألفي رجلا من كبار الساسة والمفكرين وأسسوا بهم المحفل الرئيسي المسمى بمحفل الشرق الأوسط وفيه تم إخضاع هؤلاء الساسة لخدمة الماسونية وأنا مرك أي لبحين مقع المناتي سيدي انه راو سو شاغني وحا اي هيكسانيان ان اي او دياريان تشال عور مدل مليسان سي مركا او سو بحو اي او غسو رقشو ان اي دوينك او دان كما مولو قدس ارنقاسينا وحا او غبا هداي سلان اي او مران سيدي اي او غاران سلان كاسينا وحا او نغضاي كو ان اي قابسدان قدس لا 
لبا إن خلافة الإسلام غير عثمانية دميان هي كما قال بعض المؤرخين آلة صيد بيد اليهودية الماسونية وراء عدد من الويلات التي أصابت الأمة الإسلامية ووراء كل الثورات التي وقعت في العالم فكانوا وراء إلغاء الخلافة الإسلامية وعزل السلطان عبد الحميد كما كانوا وراء الثورة الفرنسية والبلشفية والبريطانية صدح إن أي مسلمين ثقيبيان أفر إن أي هل دولد هل أف إي هل دين أدونك أو سميان إي ولبا هل عاد شن إن أي حمانتا قوانتا فسهاتك إيو ما لا يعني قفافيان لح إن أي ديمها أولاً لا دقال ما يقول حال كارهانا إسلامك وأيو أركان إنو هلس كار أه كوية هي أنها في أهدافها الحقيقية السرية ضد الأديان جميعها لتهديمها بصورة عامة وتهديم الإسلام بصفة خاصة سيئتها وقالنا وحقيقة عنتا كل جان أغالها سياسة إيو ورباهنتا بلسا قرشياش هاس محا اوغهر غالي بدن كودو وي اوهر غالين خلافة دي اسلام كوي بربوريين قدسنا وي قبصة دين For thousands of years the holy lands of the Middle East have run with blood Here the scars of battle fought between three of the great religions of the world are etched into the earth But the deepest wound was made by a war between Christian and Muslim, begun at the close of the 11th century and fought for 200 years. At stake, a tiny strip of land just a few hundred miles long, but with the greatest prize, Jerusalem. لو بقول أوسا إنه أولاد هكذيب كريستن كوه كوفا شيل ما قرش شيء القدس فلسة مر نبع قدس قلب جودك كما أي بحن وحقين عشر كبرتين كيف فكي واسي قدس وحقين ملاجين تبين كلا Millions are dying in the trenches in Europe, but the consequences of the war are felt around the globe. The old, semi-feudal, Ottoman Turkish Empire, already shaken by nationalist revolution in 1908, is falling to pieces. And disastrously, it's allied to Germany. The British and French are out to make the most of the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in the Middle East. When Britain left the Holy Land, she left like a thief in the dark. For the first time, for the only time in British history, there was no legal transfer of power from Britain 
to the successor state. In 1948, Britain acted as a midwife for the baby to be born. The European Jewish state of Israel. An amazing thing has happened. The British government did something which was incredibly strange and mysterious. Britain issues a declaration known as the Balfour Declaration. In November 1917, that it is the intention of His Majesty's government to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. The only thing stranger than that that ever occurred in history, why would a secular state which leads the world of secular states declare its intention to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home meaning a Jewish state in the Holy Land. Two months later, this was October 1917, in December 1917, it is a British army led by General Allenby which defeats the Ottoman Islamic army and liberates the Holy Land. And when Allenby entered into Jerusalem, the British general declared, Today, the Crusades are over. Pal ufirso waha u chanar ta siri. Tagaladi Kristo kuwaida maade. Wana dulad ilmani ya. تاسوح أي عدين سا إن إنجليز كأي معمول عين يهود مسونيين أه أودنا هذا كفشنا أي وحياب على كلا إما سوني ذا أسوار جري وحاكم ذا. In the shadows, they have engineered every major war, revolution, and recession. They control everything you read, everything you hear, and everything you see. They have managed to indoctrinate an entire populace to their way of thinking, and have infiltrated key positions in places of authority. And it is from the shadows that they have created a new political order, a new economic order, and more sinister, a new religious order. Their ultimate aim is total global domination, and they will stop at nothing to reach their goal.